when your brother breast stink and it smell like onions and you try so hard to hold it in. Oh, what's up, 360? What's up? What's up? What kind of cut you get today? You want a fade? You want a mock? You want a ball fade? Uh, let me see. You want a taper? YouTube to start this cut off I'm gonna be combing everything in place and I'm gonna set in my first ball line using my Andy Slimline Pro LIs. Notice how I start um, above the C cup and I'm uh, just gonna go straight back and then I'm gonna drop it down that's why they call this a drop fade notice how I'm going down keeping everything you know consistent Make, uh, make sure when you do these parts and these, these ball lines that you kind of create your own style and really be neat. Make sure it fits the client's head and you don't go too high. What you want to do is start from one side, go to the back, and then go all the way to the other side from the uh, temple of the head and you know meet that side to the back. That way you'll keep everything even. Now what I'm doing with my wall magic clips, I'm just balding out the rest of the bulk at the bottom. Now using my Andes Prolithium Shavers, I'm just gonna bald out the very bottom. Now this is getting it razor bald and it just looks clean and uh, it creates another transition. Next guideline is the lever open using my Oster's Fast Feeds. I'm going up about an inch and I'm going over this uh, guideline multiple times just to make sure everything is the same length as the lever open. the one guard open go up about another inch make sure you don't dig in and you just kind of go up um, you don't want to set a harsh guideline because you want to set everything up for your next guideline so remember when you put these guidelines in just kind of go up don't dig into the skin you know what I mean so because you just what you're doing is just preparing for the next guideline so you could go into it smoothly
So right now I'm just picking out the top so I could uh, have everything stretched to its maximum potential so I can uh, you know, do the next step. Next step is the two guard open and what I'm doing is just running the clipper straight up. Um, this isn't necessarily uh, putting in a guideline, this is just taking off the bulk from the top by going straight up. Using the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, I'm flicking out that middle line. With the one guard open, I'm just going back and taking off some more bulk at the top. Um, I see that the blend was getting a little tight and I wanna stretch the blend out as much as possible. So I'm going back with my one guard and I'm just uh, getting that, you know, getting that area where the bulk is and just, you know, cleaning things up. Now with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out the bottom line. Keep in mind um, that you're gonna have to open and adjust your lever as you go up into that lever open, all right? Notice how when I set the lever open, you know, as you fade, you're gonna have to go up into that area. And all you gotta do is adjust your lever accordingly. Soon as you go up to the lever open, adjust your lever, all right, if that makes sense. You always want to do detail work, all right? Take a step back, look at your blend, and attack each area where you set your uh, guidelines. So if you set your guidelines in that area, slap on that guard, close the lever. Right now I'm picking out the hair and I'm gonna shape the hair using my wall magic clips. All right, a lot of you guys, you know, ask me to do stuff differently and want me to, you know, do 
fades differently even though like there's only one way that I know how to do a fade is by the method that I'm telling you guys so you know I'm gonna use enhancements in this video I'm gonna show you guys the difference between a, 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 a regular cut a regular lineup and an enhanced line um, an enhancement line it does make a difference um, so I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that so make sure you guys stay tuned right now I'm just using this card to block off my clients eyes and I'm spraying his line with hairspray now I'm coming coming behind it with the blow dryer to get everything dry so the hair could be stiff now I'm lining up my clients front line um, by using the hairspray it locks everything in place all right it holds the hair down to where you don't have any flyaway hairs when you uh tap the line with your liner so that's that's what's so dope about using hairspray and spraying the line first because everything holds and stays in place This is what it looks like without enhancements. Putting the card to my client's face so it, the hairspray won't get in his eyes. Um, I'm spraying it down. I'm using my topic right now just to spray everything evenly. Make sure you are a good distance away when you spray the topic on. And uh, don't put too much on. Spray a generous amount. You don't have to clunk everything up to where it looks fake you know you still want to make sure everything looks natural as much as possible so after I do that I spray the hair again with hairspray just to lock everything in and blow dry it after This is the cut and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button make sure you guys follow me on Instagram make sure you guys download live rise I'll be on live there too the link to that will be in the description it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here Cheers. <laughs> oh, what's up, 360? What's up? What's up? What kind of cut you get today? You want to fade? You want to mock? <laughs> you want to ball fade? Uh, let me see. You want to taper? <laughs> hey! Oh, hey.